Hi, it's Dr. Emily, CEO and founder of Naboso. I'm gonna take you through today's workout, which is the Naboso Flow. This is a movement yoga inspired series that's going to open up your body and bring mobility to the places you need. What you need for Naboso Flow is the Naboso Mind Body Mat, our Neuro Ball, an added bonus or option would be the Naboso Splay. We're going to start by grabbing the Neuro Ball and let's go to the end of our mat. We're going to place the ball down onto the floor with the seam facing straight up. Place your heel onto the seam and push straight down. That is going to split your neural ball into the two domes. Place the domes on the mat, shoulder width apart, and we're going to step onto the domes starting at our heels. Now what I want you to do, I'm doing a little bit of a weight shift, almost like I'm marching in place. And as I do this, I'm starting to warm up my muscles. I'm starting to activate the nerves in the bottom of the feet. Perfect, just a nice gentle flexion of the knees. I want you to now shift your, your foot back so you're a little bit more towards the center of your arch on both feet. And then again, same thing, just a gentle march or a weight shift. Standing nice and tall with the rest of the body. Head is in line with the spine. And then let's carefully step back and move to the ball of the foot. Now I'm opening up the front of the foot. Now this one, a little bit different, is I want you to start to flex. So I'm flexing my knee to push into the front of the ball. And then I'm flexing my other one. So I'm just doing these gentle weight shifts. Weight shift, weight shift. Nice tall in the body. Inhale and exhale as we're doing so. Perfect. And then when you're ready, let's move to the outside of the foot. Both feet at the same time. And now we're back to our marching. So I'm bending my knees again. Gentle weight shift. Another big inhale. And exhale. Perfect. Let's go to our last position. This is just inside the arch. So half of my foot is on the neurodome. You can see that on my left foot. And then we're just going to lean. So I'm leaning towards the left side of my body, which is pushing my foot into the right neurodome. And then I'm going to lean over to the right. So it's almost like I'm skiing in a sense, right? So I'm just weight shifting, weight shift, weight shift, weight shift. And exhale, inhale and exhale. One more each side, please. Beautiful, great. Carefully step off of the narrow domes. We're gonna lower down. We're gonna place that together back as that ball. We're gonna set that over to the side. We're gonna stand up again. We're gonna start nice and tall with our feet shoulder width apart. Nice soft knees, roll those shoulders back. I want you to inhale your arms up. Reach nice and tall, reach for the sky, reach and lengthen. You're extending your entire spine. And then we're gonna exhale and then fold over, relax down, relax that head, relax your neck, slight bend in your knees. Hands are on the mat and I just want you to kind of pedal your feet out as you're bending your knees, bending, bending. Keep inhaling and exhaling. Now, if that is too much, too much blood flow into the head, I'm just gonna have you extend that neck just a little bit as you're doing this. Perfect, let's find center. Slight bend in your knees and I want you to roll up one vertebra at a time. Heads in line with your spine and then again, a little bend in the knees. Inhale the arms up, reach tall, 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 tall. Try to grow an inch if you can. And then slowly we're gonna fold over again. Roll down all the way down. Hands are on the mat. Let's walk forward, forward into a plank. Heads in line with the spine and then we're gonna push back into a downward facing dog. Drop the heels 
And then again, extend forward into your push-up plank. Again, exhale goes back to your downward facing dog. Drop the heels. And one more time, slide forward. Fingers are nice and wide, heads in line with your spine. Weight shift back, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together. And then you're going to lift your right leg straight up. Right leg goes straight up, bring your knee to the chest. And then put your right foot where your right hand is and you're gonna pick up your right hand. Head stays in line with the spine. I want you to extend energy into your back leg. When you're ready, you're gonna take your right arm and we're gonna reach straight up for a little spine twist. Keep energy in that left leg. And then when you're ready, take your right hand back down. We're gonna place it where our right foot was. Energy in your arms. You're gonna pick up your right foot and go back to your downward facing dog. When you're ready, we're gonna repeat this on the left side. So left leg goes straight up. Knee goes to the chest. Put your left foot where your left hand is. Pick up your left hand. Energy into your right leg this time. Energy into your right arm. Head is in line with the spine. And then when you're ready, take your left arm up. Spine twist. Squeeze your right glute. And when you're ready, put your left hand back down, heel toe, your left foot in. And then when you're ready, bring your left knee to your chest and then exhale it back. Holding your down dog position. And then when you're ready, bring energy back to your left leg, bring your right leg up again. Knee goes to the chest, place it down, pick up your right hand, but this time we're going to lift. High lunge, arms go above the head. And you're going to open up into a warrior two position. Now in this position, I want your knee over your ankle, energy into that back leg, energy is through your arms. Bring your right elbow onto your right knee and bring your left arm over your head. Hold this position. When you're ready, inhale, left arm goes back out. Right arm extends. And then cartwheel those hands down to the mat. Find your lunge position. Bring your right knee to your chest. Exhale back. Downward facing dog. When you're ready, strong right leg, repeat onto your left side. Bring your left knee to your chest. Left foot goes down. Find your way into a high lunge. Arms go up. And then again, open your arms out. Nice, strong warrior two. When you're ready, left elbow goes to your left knee, arm goes over your head, lengthen. Inhale, bring it up, left arm, right arm, left arm's gonna go down, cartwheel the hands into your lunge position. Bring your left knee to your chest, exhale it back, downward facing dog. Slight bend in your knees. You're gonna walk your hands back. Walking, 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 hands go back. When your hands are at your feet, nice and relaxed, try to hang your head down. If that is uncomfortable, you can slightly lift that neck. Heel toe your feet a little wider, and then you're going to drop your hips and lift your chest. So in this position, we wanna be pushing our elbows into our knees to open up. Head stays in line with the spine. Hands go back down on the floor and we're going to fold over. 
Again, hands are on the floor. If you cannot reach the floor, bend those knees, slightly turn the feet out, drop the hips and lift, lift the chest, bringing the palms together. If you can, push those elbows into the knee. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our T-spine. So you're gonna take your left hand down, right arm is gonna go up and I'm watching my right arm as I do that. Bring your right hand back down inside the right leg. Take your left arm, spiral open, looking at the left hand. And then slowly back down. Let's do one more time each side. Push your left arm into your left knee. Open all the way up. Look at the right hand. Right hand goes down. And then let's lift. Look at the left hand. down carefully. You're going to bring your arms forward. We're going to rock down onto our knees. Go into what would be similar to a child pose and we're going to extend forward. I want you to take your arms and you're going to walk them over to the right. Put your left arm on top of your right and you're going to spiral to look underneath your armpit. And then good, gently release. Walk the hands over to the left. Bring your right hand on top of the right. And then spiral looking underneath your left armpit. Perfect. And then we're going to walk back to the center. You're going to keep your right arm nice and long. I want you to take your left hand and you're going to thread it underneath your right armpit. We're going to be staring at our left thumb. And then go bring it back to the center. Other side, extend that left arm. Take your right arm and thread it underneath your left armpit. Slowly bring it up. You're going to rock forward into a quadruped position. Here you're going to have nice body weight distribution between your hands and your knees. We're going to start by doing a few cat cows. You're going to roll, tuck, looking at your belly button, and then you're going to extend, arch the lower back, push your sternum forward, looking at the ceiling. And then again, tuck the pelvis under, round your upper back, look at your belly button. And then exhale, extend, arch in the lower back. Drive your sternum forward. One more time, tuck the pelvis, lift. And good, exhale, push it through the sternum. And then go find a neutral back. We're gonna push back so that we are sitting down and we're going to find a lotus pose facing forward. If this is not available to you, I'm gonna have you just extend your legs a little bit. But in that lotus pose, we're gonna bring our arms down by our side. Neck is long. Pushing down, open those fingers nice and wide. Push, lengthen, beautiful. Start to bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Drop that left shoulder a little bit more. And then good, relax. Other side, left ear, left shoulder. Drop that shoulder, open up. And then good, bring it back to the center. Nice and relaxed. Bring those arms up nice and tall and release. Let's do one more time. Inhale, lift and release. Great job, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed to learn more about Naboso and to get the full product line. Head to naboso.com.